So not too long ago, DX Razer actually released a new generation or series of gaming chairs that they have available on their website, their Air Mesh series. And so they got a hold of me and they decided to send one out. Note, this is not a sponsorship video. So in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and literally cover everything there is to know about this gaming chair and possibly compare it against some of its rivals like Seeker Labs. Let's go ahead and get started. So the packaging is really different from what I'm used to because this chair on their website, they list this chair for about for $499. And right now, if you act fast on their website, it's $50 less, $449. But once I received the package, the package was very generic. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but as soon as I open it up, it was just a bunch of styrofoam. Everything was all over the place. When you compare it against some of its other rivals like Secret Lab, for a fine example, they like to have everything all nicely organized. So I was kind of let down when I saw this. Not a bad thing. It all depends on the assembly process, but a complaint I did found is yes, it is a good thing. The wheelbase is made out of metal, which is normally this is like the area that gaming chairs or office chairs in general typically will fail over time as it could crack and cause the wheels to fall off. Knowing that the metal base, that's great because longevity wise, this chair should last a long while. Just I have noticed that this is the con that I don't like about so much is that it's just sprayed on with the spray can it seemed like because in the middle ring, I know this is gonna be covered up, has a bunch of overspray and it's not really properly painted. Again, minor picks here and there, but for a chair that's around the $500 price tag, Secret Labs wheel frame is actually fully painted and dipped there's no imperfections whatsoever now something to share i was glad to know that they did provided the tools needed and they're not generic tools they're actually dx racer labeled which is nice and everything the instructions the booklet that they provide was very easy to follow just i did ran into a little hiccup here because i noticed the instruction was covering something that this chair didn't have like for instance, this cover right here, it's really held together magnetically, which is nice. But in the manual instruction guide, it was showing that it was held together with a screw. And also if you look at the cover, it doesn't match the cover that actually is on the chair itself. This might've been like a last minute change, but I do prefer this magnetic attach mechanism over having to bolt it on with the screw. And yes, the magnets are actually very powerful and, and will definitely stick on. And since they're magnetic, it also hides any screws or anything like that. If it was screwed on like the old ways, it just covers everything nice and flush. And then in case you're curious, yes, the armrests are indeed removable. So if you decide or you want to remove the armrests, you could take them off in case it doesn't fit your current setup. Now, something to share, I, I was actually quite surprised how fast it took me. It took me less than 18 minutes just to finish the entire assembly. And inspecting the chair, there was really wasn't any imperfections. Everything was nice, even though the package, like I said, looked like everything was just thrown together in a box with styrofoam. It did do a, a good job of preventing it from getting damaged. Just however, upon further in-depth inspections, I have noticed that this part right here was unnecessarily big. There was a big gap right here, but I came to the conclusion it was just unclipped as I simply apply pressure and it clipped back together and eliminated that gap. So the overall design of the chair is actually very unique and depending on the setup and the personality of the user, this could definitely fit nicely. This is definitely a retro futuristic vibe almost gaming chair. The mesh is actually shockingly really comfortable. And then in terms of lumbar support, the lumbar support mechanism is adjustable. You could raise it up and down and the rest is basically tightened, wraps around your spine with the mesh fabric material with some spring reinforcement. In other words, the adjustment's basically off your body weight. And from sitting on this chair for like, literally right now, as you see me sitting on it, it does an excellent job on hugging you. So if you're not that much of a large type of person, this should fit you just fine. But there still is plenty of space, so even if my sides were a little bit wider, I shouldn't really have any issues. Now, keep in mind this part right here, the blue plastic frame outline of the chair is hard plastic, so it's fixed, it's gonna stay that way. There's nothing you can do about it. So if you do happen to be slightly wider, this may become an issue. Now, I weigh 160 pounds currently, 5'8", and on their website, the chair is listed to be able to hold up to 250 pounds and up to six foot two. Now, the air mesh is available in four color choices to choose from. The one we have here obviously is black, but they also have this pink one with a off gray color tone. And then they have blue and white, 
red and white and soon to be released a yellow red and blue one uh colors is all personal preference but honestly they're kind of weird looking <laughs> Uh, unless you get the black one. They are they just said that in the near future there's gonna be a cover you could put over it. So if you want to change up the design, this chair technically is really modular. Now the headrest. The headrest, I'm happy to inform you that it is memory foam. But unlike like a rival secret lab chair, there's no gel padding on top of it. So the thing that I notice whenever I'm resting my head on this for a long duration, it does get warm. But during the winter time, like right now, this actually feels really nice. I'm not gonna lie. But for me, even on the lowest setting on this headrest, if I actually rest my head all the way back, there's not really much support on the top part of my head, primarily on the neck, which is perfect. That's mainly what you wanna have support on, especially when sitting behind a desk like this for a long duration. Now the armrests, I'm actually happy to inform you that the armrests are 4D, which means you could adjust them forward, back, side to side, adjust the height, and the button mechanism that they're using is solid and uh, it kind of looks like Secret Lab's 4D armrest to be honest from the older generation, which I'm not complaining. Those work really well, but they shared a very similar outline like the older share of two years ago that Secret Lab's had, just saying. But I like the fact that it's solid. Once you put it in place, it stays there. It's not gonna easily like lock off and move to a new position if, in case you move the share side to side, but it does wiggle a lot. I'm just saying, but once you have your forearm on the armrest, there's no issues whatsoever. And the cushion, it doesn't irritate me. It's somewhat of a hard plastic, but it's like the perfect hardness to the point where the curved edges really are very comfortable to have your arms rested on the armrest for a long duration without feeling any discomfort. Now back to the headrest. The headrest can be adjusted in a couple of different ways. Uh, you can either move it from this point of view, lock it out, lock it in, as you see, it literally slides in like so. Or you can actually unscrew these little attachments over here and you can move it to the other screws, uh, opening points that are available on top. So if you're a much taller folk, you could definitely adjust it to the perfect head length. Now the paddles, like any office chair or anything, are right here on the side. You could raise them up and down. Although they do make an interesting sound when, they, when the hydraulic mechanism is activated. Here, take a listen. It's not annoying because once you set it, you just forget it. But I just thought that was interesting to note. And then yes, you can also lock the tilt or unlock it. So if you want a back and forth motion, you can easily do so. And this one actually does go very low back compared to the Secret Labs Titan chair or even the Omega, to be honest. But yeah, once you lock it, it stays there. It's really comfortable. I'm not really complaining. Again, being a mesh chair, which, which means during the summertime, it's your back will, and your booty will always stay breathable. So you're not gonna be sweating or anything like that, which is quite relaxing, especially when you're gaming or just being behind a screen for a long duration. Now the wheels that are used on the chair are carpet friendly, hardwood friendly, as there is a nice thick rubbery piece right here, plastic, which should prevent this thing from leaving any trail marks or anything like that if you're on a tile or a hardwood surface. There's no issues here whatsoever. And as for the biggest question, can you sit with your legs crisscrossed? Let me go ahead and tempt this right now live on camera. Oh, I'm still gonna record this. It's kind of odd and it's kind of uncomfortable with my ankles, but yes, you can sit like this, but it's somewhat challenging, unfortunately, unless I do this with one side of my art leg. So yes, you can sit crisscrossed, but it will vary person to person because I barely have that much space here. So in conclusion, what do I think about this chair? Well, the quality isn't really top of a line premium by that i mean like these little knobs right here on the side of the chair it's kind of rough has like rough edges so if i would adjust this over and over again i'll start getting blisters on my fingers so uh, what i'm saying is they could have just smoothed things down a bit instead of give you like rough edges here and there but look wise it's definitely a looker really does look like a next generation gaming chair but it does have some imperfections here and there that doesn't look premium for its asking price. Like for instance, quality control, is not me or does the logo kind of look off? Or even the memory foam pillow in self in general looks off like all the lines and stuff. And this is unadjustable. This is fixed to the plastic frame. But if you manage to find an excellent deal on these things and this sure suits your style, 
yeah, by all means, I'm not gonna prevent you from buying it. It's not a low quality share whatsoever. I'm just saying other shares around this price tag, sometimes they offer a little bit more. Like once again, with Secret Labs Titan redesigned model, the magnetic headrest is very easy to adjust. You don't have to deal with any screws in the back or anything like that. You literally stick it on. And then the ability to upgrade the armrest with a gel padding is severely comfortable and will keep your forearm cool at all times. But if later on down the line, if this armrest later gets scratched or damaged, instead of replacing the entire armrest, you can just replace that cover extremely easy. So all in all, again, this was not a sponsored video, but I greatly appreciate DX Racer for providing me this share and allowing me to create a video and giving you guys my honest review and what I think about it. So if you're doing online shopping for a gaming chair, now you're informed and finding out which one's the best chair for you. And something tells me, this chair might get better over time, especially once they release more designs like those covers I was telling you about that DX Racer looks like they're working on. So you can always customize it without buying a new gaming chair all over again. And yes, I do approve comfort wise. This chair is very comfortable. Oh no, there you guys have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to know where you get this share, make sure you use the link in the video description down below and keep an eye out down there in case there is a discount code I could provide for you guys. And if you'd like to see an in-depth comparison against the Titan chair, against this chair, and then the Omega series, make sure you hit that like button and get subscribed so I know that you guys are actually interested to see that future video. But in the meantime, if you'd like to see a recent gaming chair I made, check out this video over here as I compare the two different materials that Secret Labs currently has available for the latest Titan chair. And then that video next to that one, that's just the video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.